first of its kind surgery in the tri-state was performed today to give a local woman a brand new knee. And a story you'll see only on Local 12 News. Medical reporter Liz Bona shares how this breakthrough technology works. <laughs> Hey there, everybody. It is called the Persona IQ, and it is the world's first smart knee implant. Ann Patton, a retired nurse, let us track her procedure today to show you just how this traditional part, which is the top part here, is paired with what they call the smart stem extension. It has tiny sensors in that extension, and they capture information critical to your recovery. As this picture of Ann's knee provided by Ohio and Kentucky's Beacon Orthopedics shows, it takes just a few tiny incisions for surgeon Dr. John Larkin to customize the fit and place the smart knee implant. It has a uh, data transmitter in it that allows the patient to be involved in the patient care. The transmitter captures and sends to an app on your cell phone information that includes everything from how many steps you take to your range of motion as you recover from surgery. This animation and video provided by Zimmer Biomet, which makes the smart knee. This allows the patient to be able to look directly every day and see, am I making progress? Am I falling behind? And it integrates with us to tell us how they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. These are Ann's x-rays. You can see the perfect placement of her smart knee implant. Since about one in five of those who have knee joint replacement surgery aren't satisfied with the results after surgery but don't know why, this provides custom results. What this new device does, it individualizes the patient for their own knee. And that's the first of its kind. Complications such as risk for infection are similar to other joint replacement procedures. A handful of surgeons nationwide now providing this as an option for patients. And just so you know, there's a 10 year battery inside this smart stem, but Anne can decide whether she wants it for short term or long term use. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you. And right now, the technology is only available for knees, shoulders are expected next, and hip joint replacement to follow.